Thanks, Margaret. More questions than answers. That's how NOPD homicide detectives are describing the investigation into a deadly shooting late Sunday night. Police say they were responding to a burglary in progress at a home on Oriole Street along the lakefront. When they arrived, they found a 54 year old man who had been shot several times. WDSC reporter Andy Cunningham is live outside police headquarters with the very latest on this investigation and a reaction from, pe from people in the neighborhood. Andy. Adriana, here's the thing. Police don't have a whole lot to work with at the time, so tonight they are asking for the public's help. Any information you might have, even if you believe that information is insignificant to the overall investigation, it could be the break investigators are looking for. Monday night, residents of this lakefront neighborhood were attempting to resume their normal routines, but what happened on the street only hours earlier was still fresh on their minds. It's just something that's unspeakable. Dana Malone lives just a couple of doors down from where police say 54 year old Herbert Myers was shot multiple times inside his home. Shots Malone believes woke her daughter shortly before 11 Sunday night. I know that's what she heard. I know, I know it's exactly what she heard. Just minutes later, lights and sirens filled the normally quiet street. Officers were responding to a burglary in progress call that quickly turned into something much worse. We've got a lot more questions than answers. Police have released few details surrounding the shooting and backed off initial reports. The victim's son, who said he returned home from running errands to find his father shot, engaged in a gun battle with the two suspected gunmen he says were armed with AK 47s. At this point, um, we really can't speak as to whether shots were exchanged or not. Um, it's just not information that we're certain about to the point where we'd be able to tell the public yes or no either way. Investigators now scanning nearby surveillance camera footage for possible clues as nervous neighbors, many too fearful to reveal their identities. You know, you just don't expect anything like this to happen. Say they too want answers as rumors swirl around possible motives. It shook me up, absolutely, as it did everyone in our neighborhood. And at this time, police have not said if anything was taken from the home. However, family members have said they believe these two men knew exactly where they were going and where to find it in the home. If you have any information you believe could help investigators with this investigation, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 822 1111. Reporting live tonight at NOPD headquarters, I'm Andy Cunningham. Back to you.